it gives us an, an advantage, you know, in the marketplace. I don't do this. I mean, I make money, but I don't do this for a living. My church took care of my retirement. My wife is a retired teacher. We're in, we're in great shape. So we're able to do this. We're able to pass along uh, savings to churches. But more importantly than that, we uh, we also can provide good counsel. And I just think, you know, when I, when I first started doing this, Dale, my idea was, hey, whatever you want, I'll just get it to you for less. Yeah. I mean, it's just a win-win. Whatever you want, I'll get it to you mm -hmm. for less. Um, Sometimes they don't know what they need, what they need. But but over time, I found that if they really wanted junk, there wasn't much point in me getting that junk for them for a little less because they yeah. still thought I provided the junk. And so I, I tell people, I tell churches, you know, if if you I mean, very few churches want a Cadillac, but there's a few that want, you know, want a Cadillac. We can provide a Cadillac. Mm -hmm. Um very few churches really, when they think about it, want a junker. You know, yeah. they don't want to, we're old enough to remember Yugos, you know, coming from, uh, you know, those cars. I mean, most churches don't want a Yugo, but the problem- You're have to get a new example. <laughs> the, the problem is on the website, yeah. the, these this stuff look, all looks good. You know, the web, web, it always looks good. And so a lot of churches will buy Yugos not thinking it's a Yugo. Be sure to check out the full episode of the 95 podcast by going to 95network.org forward slash podcast.